Florida is considered the holy land of the aerospace industry, the departure site of the great miracles that humans create in space exploration. Meanwhile, Starship, after only a few years of development by SpaceX, has become the largest and most powerful rocket in the world. It would be great if these two factors can be combined. In fact, SpaceX has long planned to launch Starship in Florida. Along with Texas, it will help SpaceX create strides in the aerospace industry. However, it seems that not everyone fully supports this, including NASA. They often give many reasons and concerns that made it difficult for SpaceX's above plan. But these challenges cannot stop Elon Musk and SpaceX's ambition. They made strong strides regarding the Florida launch system, as well as Starship, to dispel all those concerns and even cause shock and surprise to NASA. So how SpaceX can do it? Discuss everything about this in today's episode of TechMap. We all probably understand and admit the great potential of Starship. It is creating many records even though it has not yet successfully launched an orbital flight. Therefore, if Starship succeeds and goes into operation, it will bring many benefits not only to SpaceX but also to NASA as well as the U.S. aerospace industry. Besides Starbase Texas, being able to launch from one of the world's most modern launch facilities in Florida will help that progress become faster and stronger. But as I said, not everyone likes that including NASA. Why is that? More than anyone else, companies operating at launch facilities in Florida will be the first to oppose the Starship launch plan in Florida, even extremely harshly. This is due to two main factors. The first factor relates to safety. Let's look at what Starship caused during its first orbital test flight. The deep hole under the launch mount, damage to surrounding infrastructure, other environmental problems, and more. It all took SpaceX many months to resolve and work with government agencies. Unlike the Boca Chica site, the launch sites at Kennedy and Cape Canaveral launch centers are located quite close to each other, spread across coastal Florida. If Starship has a similar problem, it will not only affect its launch site, but also the surrounding areas. The second problem is competition. Starship is a rocket that receives a lot of attention attracting all eyes wherever it appears. The launch of Starship in Florida will certainly overshadow other companies' rockets. After all, the final decision makers will still be NASA. Obviously, safety will still be the priority NASA considers. In addition, there is another reason why NASA does not want Starship to launch in its areas. That's because the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions also took place here. These vehicles undertake many important tasks for NASA, as well as other agencies, especially Dragon missions to launch cargo and crew to the ISS. Therefore, NASA would not want Starship to affect the schedules of those missions. However, those reasons cannot stop SpaceX. In order not to affect Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and Dragon missions, SpaceX built a separate launch tower for Starship. In fact, Plans to build an orbital launch system, OLS, in Florida began at the end of 2019. But then SpaceX completely redesigned the rocket and its ground system, so the work was delayed from the end of 2020. After a year, at the end of 2021, construction work was restarted. OLS-2 remains located at Pad LC-39A at Kennedy Space Center. During the construction process, Although NASA often expressed concerns about problems with Starship and its impact on other missions, causing progress to slow down quite a lot, SpaceX still made many great strides. In just over a year, SpaceX has created important foundations, converted and built a cryogenic fuel storage system like the tank farm system at Starbase, Texas, installed plumbing systems, and most importantly thing is the process of constructing and assembling a second Starship launch tower similar to the launch tower in Boca Chica. Next to the launch tower, the orbital launch pad, OLM, was also built, and a water deluge system was also installed below the base of this structure. In addition, several large storage tanks, many smaller ones were also constructed. Lately last year, SpaceX engineers also designed a new Mechazilla arm structure similar to what we see in the launch tower at Boca Chica. 
By early this year, they completed the installation of this structure. Like its sibling at Boca Chica, this arm will also be responsible for lifting up and down and stacking the Starship. Moreover, it will also be responsible for catching Super Heavy and Starship when they finish their missions, returning and landing at the launch site for reuse. Even more, to avoid affecting the launch of Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, SpaceX also promoted the construction of a launch tower at LC-40. Recently, the crew arm was installed at this launch tower, which is specialized for Dragon missions. Having an additional launch tower would help the Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and Dragon missions not be affected by Starship. Regarding safety issues, in the past few months, SpaceX has also made more than 1,000 changes, including important upgrades related to the engine and separation system, which is considered the main cause of problems during previous flights. The engines have been improved with new changes that are safer and more reliable. A hot staging mechanism has also been added to ensure the success of the separation process. Once it succeeds, it will dispel the reasons or concerns of companies and NASA. Thereby, SpaceX can easily move Starship to Florida, not only the launch system but also the production and testing systems. We may need to wait at least until next year, specifically after the second orbital test flight, to see the prospect that Starship can be launched from Florida. As the NASA's plan, SpaceX will participate in two missions, including Artemis 3 and Artemis 4, in late 2025 or early 2026 and late 2028, respectively. In these missions, HLS Starship, the version designed for the lunar mission, will be used to land NASA's crew on the moon after more than 50 years. It is the end of 2023 now, which means there are just over two years left until then. Regarding the Mars colonization plan, Elon Musk has recently made many important revelations. At the International Astronautical Congress in October, he mentioned the goal of launching thousands of starships each year to transport about one million tons of payload to Mars to build a self-sufficient city on this planet. Also in this program, Elon Musk said they are planning to land starship flights without a crew within the next four years which is around 2027 or 2028. As deadlines are gradually approaching, SpaceX needs to speed up its Starship project. Therefore, next year, 2024, will be a very important year for SpaceX and Starship. Last month, Bill Gerstenmaier, the Vice President of Build and Flight Reliability at SpaceX, revealed that SpaceX will launch 144 missions next year. Recently, Elon Musk also revealed that SpaceX will launch every two days next year. Besides Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, perhaps Starship will increase its operations and contribute more to those goals. It will be difficult for only Starbase Texas to handle the huge workload. That will be the time when the Starship launch system in Florida begins its missions. But the key to opening up those prospects will still be the second orbital test flight, Although nothing is certain, it can be said that SpaceX has made unbelievable strides to get closer to Florida. Not only did they solve the concerns of NASA and the companies, but they also did everything extremely fast and strongly, making us, especially NASA, shocked. Besides Starbase Texas, launching the world's largest rocket from Florida, the holy land of the aerospace industry, will also be a moment that we will always remember for the next decades or even the next centuries. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space important updates. Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high quality content. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.